The boil that we had seen under hiring is definitely gone. Things are slowly cooking, but very slowly. 4.1% 4, 4 increase in hiring year over year in December, but a 0.7% increase month over month. So this is kind of barely chugging along. Employers still hiring, but they are not doing it like they were. And the industries that were hiring previously, manufacturing, construction, they are nowhere to be found. The industries that are now driving this, software and services, so Google, Facebook, um, consulting and corporate services, and then agriculture. And then be <laughs> below that, the next two industries, showing the, the last one showing double-digit increases, are the ones that are being affected by the shutdown. Ag so, agriculture, though? Agriculture, a lot of uh, biochemical and seed companies. Huh. So I'm not sure exactly why that's, it's one of these ones you would have expected to be hit by the tariff, yeah. tariffs, but they're still hiring. So, and I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, oh, that's a that's no, a that's yeah, a good I'm point. Half yeah. yeah. joking there, but yeah. But and, and I'm sorry, I cut you off. And then you the and then it's public that. administration and public safety. So it's like Department of the Veterans Affairs, um, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. These are the ones massive hiring in December, and you know that's not going to happen and continue in January. So I think that the question will be for for the February numbers. How does the shutdown really have an impact? Has the job short has the worker shortage been solved? I mean, basically, yeah. you're seeing companies respond to softer demand, presumably, and saying they're slowing down. Well, I think the question I'd have is the same one that just came up in the in the last segment, which is: Is there a as as employers watch these numbers and as they wonder what's happening in the in the global economy, the first thing they do is say, well, maybe we'll pause on hiring. And if you're an employee you have to wonder, is this the right time to jump? Or do I start looking at kind of recession-proof areas? Do I want to stay hunkered down in my job? Or do I want to necessarily pack up and go take a, a risk? It feels like right now might not be the right time to take a risk. Our numbers take into account both not just new jobs created, but job changes. It feels like we only in the last year or so got to the point where we were saying, oh, we're back to a take this job and shove it environment. Right, we exactly. missed the window that quickly. It seemed to see you know, all, everyone was ghosting. You know, people yeah. were just leaving jobs whenever they felt like it. Yeah, I do wonder whether we're going to continue with that. It feels like those were glory days. Those are the kind of things we'll talk about. Hey, remember when, you know, but it, it, those, that window shuts quickly. Still more job openings, I mean, on paper yeah. than available workers, though. Yeah, exactly. Well, and I think that you still have employers who are holding out for very technical jobs, for people who can fill positions perfectly, these unicorn hires, and they want to get exactly the right people in. I don't know whether that changes if hiring starts decreasing more. You still want the right person in the right job. Is, is it that, or is the bigger part of the problem that they don't want to raise wages for, for certain areas? You know, well, like the, you hear about the problems, or the other problem you hear is like when they can't find people who can pass a drug test. Yeah. Well, we still do see companies. That's a big one. They can't find a. They, they can't. People can't pass a drug test. There's still a huge percent of people who aren't working and aren't looking for jobs. And then, if you are not going to raise wages, it means going to find people who are in lower um, uh, pay areas of the country. And you are seeing jobs moving out of the coastal cities into places like Austin, Denver. Charlotte just showed up as our third biggest city for where professionals are migrating to. So people are moving to these lower cost cities. Employers presumably can go hire them for less in those places. So there's definitely some people are chasing, are still chasing some of these jobs, but employers are not hiring at the same rate they were.